Hey, so for those of you who don't know, I'm creating a choose your own adventure game, Java based, and it's not just Java based, it's written in Java, but it's text based. So everything I do will be outputted through this console. Um, something I tried to do for a challenge is create a map for my game. So if I've finished defeating all the monsters in an area, I want to be able to move north or move south. So this map is what does it. I have this on a loop just so I can show you how the map works. So let's test it out. You input the world name here. That's just for the test. Normally it would be done through through the main method. Uh, so let's name it my username. So as you can see, there's map of the username. And then it's got this nice grid here. It shows that O is explored locations. Asterisks are unexplored locations. So there's a lot of those, as you can see. The default is E10 and let's go north so when we go north you see that I've gone up a bit it says you're now at E9 so let's go north again north you can go more than north so let's go east and yeah so you can move around for now it only shows unexplored locations if you've been to somewhere but in future I'll have a randomizing thing that'll make it a town or boss or whatever happens there and then I have a get position thing that tells me where I am in my main method basically I use it to determine what I do with like in this position so if I come here to a town later it tells me that it's a town and that I can buy stuff there um, something that I will be adding for towns is the ability to travel so let's input travel and then you input your coordinates let's do a six like it says for example so I'm over here so that's pretty cool um, so how my map here works is it's a number line like it's a number grid so this is one this is two this is three so if I go left here oh right it's not left it's west I forget that I've changed these things and there we go. Okay. So it went up here because it goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So how I have it moving left and right is minusing or adding. And then going up and down is minusing 10 or adding 10. Pretty simple. Um, but you can't get outside the map boundaries doing this. So let's uh, travel to C20. So now I'm down here at C20 let's try and go south to leave the boundary outside of map boundaries so that's what happened when you when you try to do that invalid input there we go so yeah that's just a little showcase of what my map does i thought it was pretty cool considering it's all text based um, use a ridiculous amount of code i'll show a little bit of it i don't know if it's gonna show up in this window i don't think i can open programs when i'm using this recording software anyhow that's it. Thanks for watching.